from a background of poverty within a family stricken with addiction, I learned at an incredibly young age some awfully hard life lessons. Most would say kids should never ever experience. Well, newsflash, life is harsh. And now as I look back at those life values I learned through those struggles, I would argue that it was those experiences as a young child that shaped my mind so that I can now look at the world without blinders on. Many of us have lived sheltered lives for years and not by choice. As kids, we can only experience what we were born into. And with no real decision-making abilities for our own self-benefit, we are stuck relying on those around us to share their wisdom and stories which help to shape us into contributing members of society. But what if the people who are in the position of teaching us were never taught themselves how to better cope with life, death, and all the struggles in between? Well, herein lies the problem. We are now experiencing generations becoming more and more out of touch with who they are themselves, and they are attempting to fill this void with distractions and pleasures from outside sources. Today's temptations are extraordinary in measure. They are designed to captivate and hold the mind. Much research about the human psychology has been performed throughout history on this topic. Much of this research is used in all types of advertising and social media platforms. From the color of a candy wrapper and the shape of the lettering all the way to the ambient smells of a room. And they are all designed to affect your decision making abilities, which they do. I liken it to researching an opponent's tactics and moves in order to manipulate and defeat them. And in this case, it is not a physical battle, but a battle of the mind. Now let us say you have learned what your opponent's likes and dislikes are, what his or her values are in life and what stimulates pleasure and or pain within them. You've just gained an immensely powerful position against them. You no longer have to fight with weapons of brute force, which would then expose yourself as the enemy, but instead now you can fight by pulling on the feelings and emotions, the pleasures and temptations, in order to manipulate people into getting what you want. This unfortunately is a story as old as human interaction and it is currently used every single day as a form of control against the masses. So what does this mean for you? I think that it was really quite obvious that this system doesn't have your actual best self-interest and growth in mind. So what it really means is self-education. Educate yourself on psychology, the brain's biology, and the human subconscious mind. Because video gaming, drugs, and alcohol, Facebook, Tinder, and Instagram are all perfectly designed pleasure givers. And if you don't have the understanding of how the human machine operates mentally, you will waste a lifetime filling that internal void with all the temptations and pleasures just for a few moments of temporary relief from reality. Self-education is the only way. As our schooling systems are letting generations down, we are not taught how to better cope with our thoughts and emotions or how to control them through our years of schooling, which are our most developmental and influenced years. We are alternatively taught a ton of useless information that becomes redundant over the span of a lifetime. Our parents were not taught how to cope with their emotions and thoughts through failed education, so they could not teach us how to either. And now we are raising the next generation in the exact same manner, but with the added twist of gratuitous social media usage, accessible with a touch of a finger. Distractions are, are at an all time high and people feel more lost than ever before. When you have better equipped yourself with usable information through self-education, you can now execute on that information. Like, would it not be wonderful to choose how you feel instead of being like a leaf in the wind, emotions blowing whichever way life's twists and turns take you? Wouldn't it be awesome to not get angry in traffic or to not have that constant urge to check on your phone? Of course it would. So this is where you pull out that search bar and dive in. We can either use technology to keep us down, or we could choose to use it responsibly. 
to elevate our lives. There is plenty of information out there for those who earnestly seek it. It all comes down to choice. You know a problem exists. What you choose to do about it next will always be up to you. You are a powerful human being with an extraordinary mind. All you'll have to do is unlock it and believe in your self.